Hello, Web3 people, crypto enthusiasts, and decentralized finance users. This is the Cosmos Joe Show, where today I'm going to show you how to buy hilarious meme coins on a DEX called Astroport. Astroport is a decentralized exchange. It's actually found on multiple blockchains. The one we're going to use today is on Neutron, and we're going to get the meme coin called Newt. Meme coins are hilarious, but this is a very serious tutorial. I want you to see exactly what Astroport is all about. I'll help you get tokens into the app if you're a new user, and we'll learn about the different pools that this decentralized exchange offers. Here is Astroport. The website is actually astroport.fi. Of course, I'll link that down below. You could see it, you know, for an experienced DeFi user, looks like a typical DEX. And yes, you could swap tokens. That's the main reason why people use these. But there are a couple of other things you can do. If you're a beginner, let's get you started with some tokens. So I'm going to click here. This brings up my asset page. And it's showing that I don't have any. And that's because I don't have a wallet connected. So up here, I'll connect my wallet. They give you some options. Yes, you could use MetaMask. Um, there's an extension called Cosmos Snaps that will, if you're an Ethereum user or EVM user, you could simply add that to your MetaMask. It generates all the necessary wallets for the Cosmos ecosystem. And this is a Cosmos ecosystem application. Shout out to Adam Accelerator Dow for sponsoring this video. We are going to transact on blockchain called Neutron. Neutron is part of the Adam Economic Zone. It is actually a blockchain secured by Cosmos, which uses the Adam token as its staking and reward token. Here you could see I'm connected to Neutron, but there are a couple other chains that have a different set of uh, liquidity pools to do swaps. We're going to keep this in Neutron for now. But yeah, if you, once you get good at it, you could transact across blockchains. The wallet that I'm using is Leap. And you could see that I've got some USDC bridged. I've got some Astro tokens. We'll talk about those in a little bit. I, I'm on the Neutron blockchain and I don't have Neutron tokens, but that's okay because I don't need them. I'm actually going to bring an Atom. Most people are going to come in from a centralized exchange, probably. Atom is the easiest token to get. So what you'll do is you'll buy your Atom on Coinbase, Binance, whatever. Send it to your wallet, MetaMask Snap or um, Leap or Kepler. And just make sure you send it to your Atom address. Once it's there, we're going to actually use this bridge to bring the Atom tokens into the app. Here is the bridge, and what you'll do here is what's called an IBC transaction. IBC allows tokens to be moved from one blockchain to another seamlessly in an extremely secure manner, and I'm going to bring some Atom tokens from the Cosmos hub, right? That's the main Cosmos blockchain, to Neutron, which is the consumer chain. So I'll bring over one just for the demonstration. I'll click swap over here. It already loads up Atom as the default asset, it looks like. I'm just going to swap one. And let's look for Newt. This is for the Newt community. This is a meme coin, or maybe it's not a meme coin. A lot of people are newting about it on Twitter. And yeah, here it goes. I'm going to swap, and something interesting is going to happen. My wallet's popping up. You can't see that, but it is telling me I don't have enough for gas. That's because I have no Neutron tokens. So in my wallet settings, you could do this with Kepler or Leap. You could adjust the transaction fee. I've got some USDC. I think I'm going to use that as my transaction fee just for the demonstration. But you use what you have. All right, transaction went through rather quickly. There you go. Newt's there. So my Atom is gone. Now I've got Newt. I've got $10.70. What can I do with this? I'll show you right now. For the next step, I will click pools and you can see I get a big overview page and I get over 100 pools. A little overwhelming for a new user, 
but this is a nice little app where I could search for things easily. And there is some little pop-up action here that tells me what I need to know before I do certain things. Already on this page, you could see there's different designations of pools. There's XYK, there's PCL, and there's stable. Those are the three types of pools. We'll get into them in a minute. What I'm going to do is show you how to supply liquidity. I just had to rearrange my window so you could see the search bar here. And oops, that's not what I want. I want Newt. I want Newt. So here are the pools. You've got Newton Neutron. No, I want Newt. So it looks like the only pool is Newt and Neutron. I'm in the United States. I can't buy Neutron tokens. Sucks. But I'm going to do an Astro pool just so you get the idea. And it looks like here I have a nice Astro USDC pool. I have both tokens. I'm going to add liquidity. That means whatever I add, the value of whatever I add is going to be added to this. And this is the liquidity that's used to facilitate swaps on an AMM. You could see that it does give an APR of 117%. It depends on the proportion of my liquidity, how much I'll actually get. But let's see what happens. But I usually just click max with whatever token I have the least amount of. It's, it's my limiting factor here. And it will give me an equal amount or roughly equal amount of the opposing token. Here it gives me an option to stake. And it says when this is enabled, your LP tokens are staked in the generator and will receive additional incentives on top of the standard fees. Sounds good. There is risk to this. Their documents are very clear. If you wanted to read the documents, I consider myself an intermediate to advanced user. I'm going to just I'm gonna just do this and add liquidity. It's telling me that this is the base APR and staking will qualify me for additional rewards. Great. This APR is based off a 24-hour calculation and extrapolated across a hypothetical year. This will fluctuate. There's a button that you can't see that confirms me providing liquidity. Make sure your gas token is set and I'll approve this. So now I'm providing liquidity on the DEX. I'm a stakeholder. I'm taking on risk, but I'm getting this APR in exchange. You can see that now there's a pairing under my pools. That's where I put my liquidity. Very good. Um, let's get into the pool types really quick. This constant product pool, this is based off the original Uniswap design where it's that X times Y equals K formula. What that means is the pool will keep the value of tokens roughly 50-50 despite wild fluctuations that may occur in price. So you be aware of that. If I'm supplying liquidity and then a couple of months later, I decide to withdraw that liquidity, I might be getting a different amount and different value of tokens back because of the fluctuations in price. Those are the constant product pools. Then there's something called stable swap. There's only three of the pools on here and you could see it's stable coin pools, uh, different derivatives of the same token pools. And this is to just um, keep the pools in relatively, you know, small range of fluctuation, actually keeping them one-to-one -one as much as possible. And then we've got these PCL pools. PCL stands for passive concentrated liquidity. And this improves the capital efficiency of token providers. So you could actually earn more with less skin in the game. Now the position does have to get somewhat managed. That's for another video. But providers can allocate the assets and optimize where they decide to put their liquidity to capture uh, more fees than they normally would with the other pool, the constant product pool that I supplied to earlier. Finally, let's get to governance. The Astro token, which is the token of Astroport, it is a governance token and you can stake it. It will give you voting power on proposals that have been submitted by members of the community, members of the team. If you want to participate in governance, you have to move your tokens over to Terra. That's their home base. You could do that with the bridge. You could do that with the bridge. And you'll see what happens when I switch. Switch to Terra. Gives me a slightly different screen. Well, 
a very different screen on the governance tab, get involved, tells you where to join the discussion for governance, gives me a forum, tells me how much astral I have. It's saying I have zero. Well, yeah, I don't have any tokens. That's because all my tokens are on the Neutron chain. Each of the four blockchains is a different network. If I want to transact on one, I have to make sure I move tokens over there. That's what the bridge is for. I showed it to you before. You could use it not only for Atom, but just about any other token from any other chain in Cosmos, as you can see. Thanks for sticking it out to the end. Once again, this was a sponsored video by the Atom Accelerator DAO. Shout out to them. Info about them will be down below. Um, really like doing this Cosmos content. Hopefully you like watching it and you'll consider subscribing, liking the video, share it. Maybe it'll help somebody. Maybe it'll help you onboard into Cosmos for the first time and use the wonderful Astroport decks.